I've learned so much about the medium of letterpress printing, which is how I produce things. In the beginning, I thought it was all about the fact that it was letterpress printed. But as time goes by, I think that it only matters as much as everything else and not anymore. It's like the biggest thing for me working in this antiquated way is the fact that it is a legacy. It was passed down to me from my father, but even bigger than that, it's been passed down from generations for hundreds of years. And now it is actually threatened in its very existence. I feel the honor of working in this way, not only because my father did, but because so many before him, and now I have the power of keeping it alive by using it and sharing it with as many people as I can reach. I found that bringing people into my shop to see the presses and smell the ink and feel the type touches everyone, no matter their age or their interest level. I believe that there is something that beckons us back to working with our hands, to making something tactile that takes time and thought. The current world of instant gratification and staring into computers and phones is what draws people to seek out things that are the opposite. Enter letterpress printing. Everything I make in my print shop is made the way printers have been working for hundreds of years. I use hand-set metal and wood type along with hand-carved linoleum block images to create greeting cards, posters, art prints, broadsides, and so much more. Some people love the process and others just love the end product. Some want to hear all the history behind it and some people don't care. I work with the tools that I have and that's what I'm passionate about. I'm a small business that loves to collaborate with other businesses to work with kids and older people, to share everything I know, to continue to inspire people to be intentional with the things they buy, give, and are interested in. When I got the chance to partner with Richard Bresnahan on the Prophetic Messenger Scroll Project, I jumped at the chance. Richard spent a lot of time in my shop. He's always brought his classes here, and he's been a big fan of my End of Times International Broadside Exchanges, which I've done for almost 10 years now. Richard admired my father and has some creative history with him, so when I moved back, we became fast friends. With this scroll project, it was about me trying to capture the community, the artists in the region, and most importantly, the monastery. I spent a lot of time talking to the sisters about what the rule means to them. The imagery was in some ways independent of the text in that it weaved its own story. The Johanna Kiln, the three sisters' seeds, the sisters and how hard they work and the art they produce and how much the community means to them. I admire that, and I try to be like that. So all of these things resonated with me. Over the course of the nine months and the six interns, we letterpress printed the rule of St. Benedict. We worked on choosing the right paper, designing and laying out all 30 pages of text. I designed all the images and then transferred them onto linoleum blocks and carved them with my tools. After printing all the images and the text, I then hand colored each image and added gold leaf to really make the most epic thing I've ever produced. We then worked as a team to glue the pages together to form a scroll that would be packaged and encased into the Cura sculpture that was built by Richard and his team over the summer. Sometimes I feel like this is the working person's version of the St. John's Bible. It is maybe more modern and more approachable. It hits home with the recognizable faces of some of the sisters, the places in St. Joseph, the artists that left a real impact on this town, these institutions, and the people of the community. It was my greatest honor to be asked to do this project and then to complete with all the passion and power that I could muster. I want this to be viewed and shared with as many people as possible, especially by people who are connected to this area, this school, this town, and this time. Thank you. <laughs>